I'm Simon White, Technical Director at Visu Technologies, and I'd like to take a few moments now to introduce you to the ECM Titanium Tuning Software Program. It's going to be a brief little walk through some of the key features, hints and tips, and show you how easy it is to use the system for tuning ECUs, both engine and gearbox. On the screen now, you can see we're just opening up the ECM program that runs off a very simple USB memory stick. Great advantage with this is you're not tied to one specific computer for your tuning. You can take it with you on your travels, abroad, PC at home, laptop at work, whatever. Very portable tuning system. On the system now, you can see we're just browsing for an original file. We're going to treat this as the read file from the vehicle for the purposes of this demonstration. As you can see on the screen there, the ECM Titanium has detected that this file has previously been put into the system. It's a great advantage as a tuner because it means if you've done this hardware software version before, you can quickly see if it's something in your database. Nothing worse than doing the same job twice, is there? As you can see now, the software is searching through its database for a matching driver. The driver is a bit like a contents page in any book. It tells you where all the various parts are of the ECU that you need, boost, fuel, torque, etc. And these will appear on the screen in a moment. The beautiful advantage of this is the software is very quick and easy to use. You haven't got to spend hours searching through for your boost maps, starter injection maps, cranking maps, whatever it is that you want to tune, for a very simple, straightforward stage one tune, even stage two with some modified parts, the ECM is the perfect tool to get you up and running very quickly. If you don't find a matching driver on this screen, don't worry. Through our training program, we show you how to use the system, every single button on there, and how you request the driver from the manufacturer. Again, another bonus of the system, you don't have to find the maps yourself. Use Alien Tech and their big resource of technicians and engineers to find all the maps for you. That's all they do all day long, leaving you free to go and work on another vehicle and to do other things around your garage or workshop that you need to get on with. You can see now that all of the maps have appeared on the screen, all the key maps that you need for tuning. Within an ECU, there's thousands upon thousands of maps. You don't need to change a thousand different things in the ECU to get the level of performance you're looking for. Likewise, the level of economy you're looking for. The customer wants to tow or wants to go and drag race the car, doesn't matter. The ECM's got the maps, the key maps that you need for tuning on there. What we're starting with here is one of the request maps. Typically, a torque request, maybe an engine node request, maybe a fuel quantity request. And what we're going to show is a few of the key features of the ECM Titanium software. You can view the data in multiple formats. You saw just we had the table open showing the RPM and load requests on there for the torque, and now we're looking in the two dimensional or some people call it the hex dump of the ECU. So you can see the data in its sort of raw format also, almost. This allows you to understand if a map's been sort of correctly identified or if you've got any discrepancies in your actual read file. What you're looking for is nice repetitive patterns in here. This also helps you sanity check your work. So if you've made changes to one map later on and you're like, I'm not sure if it did the second or third, check in the 2D image, just scroll along slightly and you'll see if any of those maps are missing. Typically, most of the editing and changing you're going to do to the software is going to be based in the table format. Now, some people have the preference of modifying the three-dimensional that you'll see shortly. Some people like to modify in the two-dimensional. Typically, the table format is the easiest, simplest way to modify and also the quickest way to check your work. What we're going to do now is show you a couple of different ways that you can edit data. Now, this isn't the exact area you need to be modifying, so don't try and copy the changes here and think it's going to make it into a starship down the road. This is just to highlight how you make the changes. So in the bottom right hand corner of the file there you can see we've selected a small area and we've hit the edit button. And we're literally typing in a physical value that we want the ECU to show at that point. So in this case we've put 403 newton meters of torque. It's not the perfect tune in there but it highlights one of the ways in which you can make a change. Note also that the modified area is now highlighted in red so you can quickly see the changes you've made to the file on there. Going back to the two dimensional view we can also see the changes in the 2D. So we can see those changes represented a number of different ways. Again, it helps us sanity check our work. What might look right in the table, you look back at the 2D and go, I've selected the wrong area. I've made a big spike in the middle of my map, and that's going to cause a hesitation or a driving issue for the owner of the vehicle. So don't be afraid to double check your work two or three times over. It's better to be safe than sorry when it comes to tuning a vehicle. Now we're going to put a little 10% increase onto the ECU. The percentage button's pressed. 10% in there, page up, and you can see very quickly a big increase on the ECU. Now one of the most advanced features of any tuning software, especially with ECM, is what we call the interpolation, also known as floor sum. 
what this allows you to do is actually scale your modifications based on the area you've selected. So a lot of people will just tune with a flat 10% here or a flat 30 increase somewhere. That's not the most refined way of doing things. The engine is smooth and progressive. Your tuning should be smooth and progressive. So when we select an area of the ECU like this, a larger data block, we can modify the different corners of that data block to have a smooth scaled increase. When you're happy with all the changes that you've made to the file, you simply press the save button at the top and you have the option to export it to your computer. What we do recommend is when you put an original into the system to start with and it asks you to record it to the database, press yes. It saves it into the memory stick itself, into the dongle, in a tiny little compressed file so if you take to another computer, you've got your original file. And guess what? When you're saving your mod file, record that to the database as well. Put a name against it, put some notes in the notes field so you know in the future what you did to that file and the changes that you made. What they'll let you do in the future is take your original and modified database with you anywhere in the world you go. Whether it's America, Australia, China, or here in the UK. You've got all of your tuning software and database with you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it very informative. If you'd like to know more about this or book on one of our training sessions, please contact us at info at vizu.com. That's V-I-E-Z-U dot com. Or you can give us a call, internationally is plus four four, the number is 01789 double seven, double four, double four. Thank you very much.